tengo pensado, no. No, he venido completamente sin preparar para esto. Es una sorpresa. ¿Y quieres te quedas aquí sentadito? A ver el sillón aquí. Sí. Si quieres alguna cosita. Muy bien. El timbre de naranja, ¿vale? Hi. Well, this is not the video I wanted to make today. See, I had prepared to have a live session at the great house with all the dogs together and it was going to be so great. And instead, I'm at the hospital. I'm under very close observation uh, for a problem that I have no idea what it is. Now, it all started a couple of days ago when uh, I went to the movies. I went to see John Wick, great movie. But uh, in the end, everybody dies, so just don't go. Please forgive me for the spoiler. Anyway, uh, in the movie, I was uh, I sat in the in the fifth row, so I was quite close to the screen. And during the movie, I was feeling uncomfortable. I couldn't focus my eyes. It was a weird feeling. At some point, I thought, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna change seats, but in the end, I didn't do it. So when I left the cinema, my eyes, I was having trouble focusing my eyes. Um, anyway, I made it home and slept. The following morning, Saturday morning, I, it, was, it was worse. I could see at a close range, but I couldn't see anything that was a little bit far. It was all fuzzy and blurry. So I went to the hospital. Uh, emergency room and uh, they told me that maybe it was because of the movie the day before my eyes were tired maybe I was reading too much or I was watching you know too many you know I was spending some screen time so they told me to to rest my eyes to close one of my eyes then close the other one and rest and don't watch TV or videos or nothing but this morning when I woke up God It was awful, seriously. I mean, I could see at close range, but then in the back, it was, I could see double. I mean, everything was double. It was crazy. And then I knew it was, something was really seriously wrong. <laughs> so I looked at myself, I took a picture of myself, and my God, my eyes were completely crossed, looking in different directions so scary so i rushed to the hospital again this time to another hospital to the one where i am now <sighs> so while while i was being taken to the hospital i was just surfing the net and, and trying to figure out what it was high blood pressure which i don't have smoker drinker which i'm not i don't smoke or drink some weird diseases like grave disease or Myasthenia gravis, which I don't have, that can be the reason. And there was a, only one other option, which is a neurological accident, brain stroke of some sort. So here I am at the hospital trying to figure out if, uh, if I've had a brain stroke, or brain aneurysm or not. Uh, they've performed a CT scan without contrast and a CT scan with contrast and, uh, and I'm, I'm waiting for, for the news. <sighs> Now, when something like this happens, the entire day I've been thinking of nothing else but, uh, but what happens if I suddenly, uh, I die. I mean, if I'm left cross-eyed, That's, that's not gonna be the, I mean, that's not the end of the world, right? I mean, will you be able to look at me if my eyes look in different directions? I mean, probably some of you will, will think it's very funny. I mean, probably it will affect the way I work. Um, my fundraising appeals will be kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but th that I'll be, I'll be doing my best. But what happens if, uh, if this thing has other consequences? So I have spent uh, most of my days thinking about, uh, about that and about the impact of, uh, of such a scenario on our animals and of course on my family.
what will happen to them if uh, if this is uh, you know so here I am a one eye one eye pirate if I take this thing out then this eye is going to be looking that way and this one will also go funny and will look up so <laughs> it's better if I don't take it out uh, I'm going to spend the night here and let's see what they tell me tomorrow. There's also a chance that is related to stress. I'm very stressed. And that is, I mean, I cannot deny it. I have too much on my plate. I have the responsibility for all the animals, for the organization, for... Oh. So it's tough. It's tough and it weighs very heavy on me constantly but I don't know such is life my kids what's gonna happen with my kids what's gonna happen with uh, our animals and let's adopt I mean just yesterday I was having a live session from home and I was telling you that fundraising is now very difficult that people are not donating <laughs> and now this happens so my my next fundraiser I'm probably going to be going to be wearing sunglasses or or I'll be looking like a chameleon with one eye looking in each direction anyway so these are the things that I worry about today having a brain stroke or a brain aneurysm uh if that's what it is, then I'm gonna to have to go into surgery and, and I will have to spend some recovery time, which I don't know if it's gonna be long or short. But I'm kind of um, keeping my fingers crossed that, uh, that there is another sort of answer to the situation. I mean, the fact is that even if I look, I mean, I have, I'm in good spirits and I can joke it's really annoying. And if I take this thing out, you will never you will never forget how I look. So I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for for your support. I know some of you I mean many of you will be sad and shocked to see me like this. And I know there's also gonna be the occasional hater. She's gonna go like, yes, yes, yes. I gave him so much stress that now he's about to die. Wow. No. <laughs> no. As I said yesterday, uh, now more than ever, the organization needs you. Our animals need you. We have to find fam families for the dogs that we have. We have to continue taking care of the ones that we have as well, for the permanent ones. So even if it sounds corny and, and I'm gonna end up pulling everybody's heartstrings, uh, please donate. Help me continue, not saving lives, but help me take care of, or help Linda and my brother take care of the animals that we have, especially, especially now with all this uncertainty, okay? Lots of love, and I'll see you hopefully very soon, or when I see you, or if I see you, with my wonky eyes. Take care. Ciao.